Well, in August, Tucson police were involved in two officer involved shootings tied to gangs and one suspect had ties to one of the most notorious and violent prison gangs in Arizona. The Digging Deeper team looking into this shooting. News for Tucson's Lapita Murillo has more on what she learned and we do want to warn you some of the video may be disturbing. Emmett, or the Mexican Mafia, is the most dangerous, powerful, and violent prison gang in Arizona. Once you're a member, you can never leave. They also run their operations from behind locked gates. That individual's most likely killed three people. Captain Sean Stewart knows that just by looking at the tattoo. Her gang members that I've interviewed over the years have told me that becoming an MA member is getting that degree from a, a, a college. That's what they strive for. Captain Stewart is known nationally for his work on prison gangs. He even co-authored a book written by a longtime MA member. He became an informant and worked with law enforcement to help bring individuals down within that organization so he's protected. But if they had a chance, they would kill him. On August 22nd, 34-year-old Fernando Valenzuela began shooting at officers. Police say he's a member of EME. He was driving a rental car that hadn't been returned when an officer pulled him over. Hands! Hey! Shots fired! Okay. Another officer turns the corner, coming face to face with Valenzuela. He fired his weapon at him. Valenzuela is hit four times. Officers render aid until paramedics arrive and take him to the hospital. Cut the rest of your clothes off. Stay on your side. Stay on your side. Right. Captain Stewart says Emma is an organized criminal syndicate that operates within the prison system. They are not sitting idle in their cells. They're being um, judicious for their prison gang. They're recruiting. They're running street gangs on the streets. There's all kinds of rackets that they run. Tax fraud. Come tax time, they'll get people's social security numbers and they'll be filing false tax claims. Jail security services intercepted conversations between gang members. Can I give us 25% of what they're selling? If not, then they go straight to me, loan, send them, send them with a bullet in their dome. Yeah, homie, I, I ain't going to, I give you my word, homie. Don't leave no witnesses. That's, that's the priority right there. Captain Stewart says they monitor known gang members to make sure the Pima County Jail is not a conduit for criminal activity. On August 26, 17-year-old Simon Pancho pulled a gun after undercover officers purchased drugs from him. Police identified him as committing two armed robberies and say he was involved in a street gang. He was shot and officers quickly rendered aid, but he died. A lot of these kids aspire to be a patched member of the Mexican Mafia. Fernando Valenzuela was released from the hospital and brought here to the Pima County Jail, where jail security is monitoring him closely. Digging deeper at the Pima County Jail, Lupita Murillo, News for Tucson.